But we have a major problem because we are taught that there are certain people Allah doesn't forgive. I need to know who they are because I don't want to be from among them. So if you look at certain ahadith, certain occasions, for example, the hadith of An-Nisf min Sha'ban, the hadith of uh, the half of Ramadan, uh, the half of Sha'ban, where it is reported that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all those besides certain people. Who are those certain people? That hadith is in Sunan ibn Majah. And although the scholars have spoken about its authenticity or whether it's authentic or not, the point being driven home is actually a point that is agreed upon by all to say, if you want to achieve the forgiveness of Allah, save yourselves from the following. Number one, al-mushrik. Straight. The first word is al-mushrik. That hadith says, a person who associates partners with Allah in worship, Allah says, I won't forgive that person. But now, I said earlier, no matter what you've done, if you seek forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. Look at the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were all mushriks at one stage. They were all people who associated partners with Allah in the Meccan period. Those from Mecca. That's what they were. They were mushrikeen of Mecca. Because they sought forgiveness and changed their ways, Allah forgave them. But we're talking of a person who passes away and he did not seek forgiveness or she did not seek forgiveness. Allah says, I can forgive everything, but shirk, I won't forgive. Allah has chosen and declared and dictated that he will not forgive association of partnership in worship with him. But besides that, he may forgive whatever he wills.